Hey everyone and welcome back. We're the Seasonal Storm. My name is Jess and this is Pudge and he is my quality control assistant director and today instead of working on some big floral projects we're gonna work on some little floral projects because it is extremely ugly weather outside. So a lot of people are very intimidated by using faux florals. I'm not really sure why, but admittedly I used to be myself. Now my mom and grandma both use them all the time, so you'd think that I would have grown up seeing it and being better with it, and it's taken some time to learn. So I'm hoping this small floral series is helping to show everyone how to use things that can be reused year after year after year. While I know we would all rather use live flowers, sometimes it's just not affordable, but also and year after year buying, it could get really expensive. So some of these pieces are things that you can buy today and then have in your collection forever. So here we go. For my spring decor, I'm using a lot of yellows, a lot of turquoises, and a lot of purples. However, I'm not really a big pink girl. Now, if you've seen my outdoor over the top floral display, you would not know that. But if you saw the video before this one, which was for all of our big displays over the cabinets and outside of my front door, you know that I'm preferring to use a lot of purples instead. I have so many pink peonies and pink is a spring color. So I'm figuring to go with the bellies of our bunnies and some of our Easter egg picks that we got at Dollar Tree. We might as well use some pink florals. So here's how we're gonna add pink to our existing color scheme. Stay tuned. Now, before we start going through all of our picks, I will remind you, I get a majority of my picks either at the Dollar Tree or in the clearance section at Walmart. Now, here are some of the creations I've already made this season that go with my decor. This teapot with a cute little troll that we repainted in another video incorporates most of those blues, turquoises, and um, a touch of purple, a lot of greens that we have going on. But you see by this bright red teapot, you wouldn't expect it to go. But I think it actually fits really well and ties in these colors with the rest of my home decor. Now to take an existing arrangement like this and add some Easter to it, we can take a contrasting egg on its little stick, thank you Dollar Tree, and just tuck some of these in. Maybe we'll take a yellow. And again, I mean, it literally could not be any simpler than that. So maybe have one more, this little green guy poking through. And see, just a few hidden little eggs make it so easy. But if you'd like to see how I made this one, let's go ahead and just take it apart. The beautiful thing about using faux florals is you always have the option to create and re recreate, I guess. So first things first, yep, I have it pipe cleaner together. It comes apart in one piece, almost one piece. And then I have it, so it sits up straight. I have some just plastic bags that we all have laying around. So here you have just a simple bouquet. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it apart. This ivy piece, is separate, this grass piece is separate, and in our little bundle in the middle, we have some really pretty pale blue roses I got at Walmart for 25 cents, and we have some wildflower picks I got from Walmart again for 25 cents, and then we also have this pick, which was um, a dollar, I believe a Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's a Dollar Tree pick. So I'm taking my pipe cleaner apart, and as you'll see, I like to take my pieces and layer them in together and twist and turn throughout the process. We're going to recreate this one. So we've taken these two pieces, we've folded them in half, we've layered and twisted them within, but we have an opening right here. So instead of mixing this one in fully, we're just going to pop it in like so. And as you can see, the stem of that one is about the same length as our folded in stems. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner for this project because this one otherwise will just fall apart and not look as nice. I'm gonna hold this as tight as I can. And if you need to, you can always have someone, like you can have one of your kids or your man or whoever's around, a friend, help you hold it, twist your pipe cleaner, and there you go. Because this is gonna be buried, no one's gonna know the difference. I'm gonna take my tallest piece, I'm gonna lay it directly against the back to create some dimension. And we're gonna actually stretch out this grass 
and flatten it to the side a little more. Now, the thing with the Dollar Tree grass is you'll see that these move, so you can actually make it even taller if you'd like. So that's pretty nice right there. Oop, we're losing a piece. And then lastly, I'm gonna take my ivy pick, and now that I have a good handful of this, I'm gonna tuck my ivy in where my thumb is. I'm gonna kinda of spread it tall as well to continue to add some height and then curl our leaves around as needed. Then I'm gonna take my plastic bags and my teapot, kind of made a little hole, and we're going to return our bouquet into our wide lip teapot. Now if you have a narrow lip, don't even worry about the pipe cleaner. And there you have it. It's all back where we first started it. So we are also going to talk about this beauty. Now, as you can see, this is clear, right? A lot of people get really self-conscious about your faux floral stems showing. Honestly, do not worry about it. Nobody cares, but if it matters to you, you can go to the Dollar Tree and you can buy just some of those um, kind of blue clear marbles and dunk them, dunk them in there and stick this right into the top. So we have this bouquet. We've got these fun uh, wildflower bits. We've got some thistle. We've got some iris. And then we've got some yellow tulips. And this one is even simpler. So we have our fern from Dollar Tree. We have our iris and our tulip intermixed in one bundle. Then we have our various greenery and thistles all in a handful. So just take your picks, squish them together, take your floral picks, intermix them like so, put them a little taller. So make them stand out just a little more. And because our irises are a little taller than our tulips, they'll stick, stand like this. Take your fern, slap it on the back because this one's gonna go in a corner. And if this is a two-sider, if you're gonna be able to see it all around, just spread them all out, I guess. And then, simple as so, there you go. Easiest bouquet. I swear there's no reason to get intimidated by faux florals. So we're gonna set this one to the side as well until we're ready to add some eggs. So let's make some from scratch, right? I'm gonna angle the camera down so you guys can see what we're working with on the table itself. Okay, so we are back and as you can see, we have got plenty of egg picks that we will work with. We've even got some carrots and then we have some scrap pieces that have fallen away. So I just kind of set those to the side to fill in if I need to. We've got some chocolate bunnies from Walmart and then we've got some Dollar Tree chicken decor that we'll style with these things. And then we have a turquoise face. I don't remember where this one came from, but this was a gift many years ago. We've got a cowboy boot from my friend Bree. And um, you'll notice there's a toilet paper roll and some uh, styrofoam. And that's actually because we're gonna make another bouquet and just set it inside of this. And then this keeps it from flopping back. And then we have a simple antique vase that has been in my family forever. And this one is a Lennox vase. You see things like this all the time at thrift stores. I recommend you pick them up because they come in handy. So I know that I am going to want to incorporate yellows. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pull three. I only have three, so thankfully I have three tulip picks. And these are all from Walmart. These were 25 cents a piece. I also know I'm going to want to incorporate some pansies. So let's see how many pansies I have. Oh, I've also got these blue roses. Got another pansy. And I've got one odd wildflower. So before I add anything else, I'm going to do one with a wildflower and two with pansies. So I'm gonna do my white vase with the wildflower and I'm gonna do my pansies and there are two different varieties in my uh, turquoise vases. I'm gonna do a blue rose with each. So there's a blue rose for each. And I'm gonna do a thistle for each because thistles are very springy. And I will do green here, two blues. I'm going to do some berries. Do a berry in my talls. And whatever we need left, we will accent with our peonies. So I'm gonna move our peony bucket to the side and let's start with our boot first. So I'm gonna take 
everything else off the table and focus on my cowboy boot. So this is a smaller option. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna try to set my greenery up like so. And then I'm going to push all my greens again to the top for my thistle. And I'm going to intermix. that's nicely intermixed. And I'm gonna take my pansy, and my pansies are generally gonna be low to the ground in nature, so we'll take our rose, and we're gonna layer our rose on top. We're gonna take our pansy, we're gonna push every bit up as much as possible, and as you'll see, I'm gonna loop the back of my pansy pick here. We're going to put this in our toilet paper roll. And for this one, I need to go this way. And there you have it. We have a bouquet. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna set our bouquet forward. And now we're gonna start fluffing it out. So try to kind of curl some of your pieces out and down and forward. Like so. That actually looks quite nice. I'm going to take some contrasting colors. I'm gonna tuck my little Easter eggs in there. I think we'll do an orange as well. And I feel like our pink is too far. No, maybe I did like it there. Best thing is there's going to be times where you're gonna to need to kind of spread things out and move them around and that is okay and maybe we can stick a little carrot in here somewhere yeah that is so cute now if we want to add a little touch of pink we can take a peony and we can put it and if we don't like it which I don't we can take it out and maybe we can take one of these more wildflower-esque picks like so Yep, much better. First one is done. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the other.
Now that we're almost done with these two smaller floral arrangements, I'd like to remind you not only to remember to intermix your greens and your picks, but also to arrange from tallest to shortest, back to front. As you can see in this first window, I've used a mix of Dollar Tree decor items as well as antique bunnies and teacups to really set a scene. I was at the wrong place. 
at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy In this window, I'm unboxing some antique stacking bunnies or nesting bunnies from my mom. And I'm going to mess around with these for a little bit before I finally decide to pull out some more antique teacups and give everybody a place to sit. I feel like the teacups really blend well with this I've got to get up my coffee needs me sign because this is normally where I start my morning and seeing all these special bunnies from my own childhood all spread out in this windowsill but nestle in their sweet teacups is something that just really makes my heart sing. If you've stayed tuned this long, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by and staying tuned for such a long video. I know that floral arranging can be a little bit intimidating, but I hope that if you were someone who was struggling or nervous or not sure where to start, that this gave you a good kickoff point. 
I like to make all of my arrangements somewhat cohesive but not matchy matchy so that as you walk around my main room and look at every single windowsill, the story changes but stays consistent and stays similar. I also like for my windowsill arrangements to go ahead and match my other large floral arrangements but not in such a way that it's overwhelming or the exact same colors. Nature is diverse and has lots of differences and nuances and changes and your arrangements should be similar. I hope you're having a blessed Easter season and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.